Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called The Peanut Butter Solution, the 1985 French-Canadian film that was based on the children's series known as Tales for All from producer Rock Demers. This was one of the films that actually came out in the U.S. by New World Pictures, but it's one of the films that starts to become well known for everybody who actually have seen it. I know I have. Um, a long time ago. It's been so long since I've seen this, but I figure I... After searching it on the internet, I finally found it. It's actually a very rare film. It stars Matthew McKay, Salak Saint Sanasi, Allison Darcy, Michael Hogan from the TV show Bellstar Galactica, Michael Mallard, Helen Hughes, Griffin Brewer, Harry Hill, Eager for Tear, and Pat Thompson. The movie begins when an average 11 year old boy named Michael Baskin, played by Michael McKay, is basically having a rough morning. His sister was basically just giving him breakfast while his father, Billy Baskin, played by Michael Holton, is a struggling artist. He's having a hard time selling his paintings. While his wife isn't around because he just went, went all the way to Australia to meet his recently deceased father. Upon hearing the news what's happening that Michael just didn't know about, he and his friend went on to a, a local mansion which was already been torn down in rebels. So eventually they went up to the house trying to find out the history about, about ghosts that's appearing around. And once uh, he went up there, he actually found out that there was a mysterious curse known simply as the fright that causes him to actually become unconscious, causes his hair to be all, you know, shook up. Until the next morning, he found out that all of his hair was gone, becoming extremely bald. So he went to the doctor to try to find out what was going on by giving him a, a CAT scan. Nothing worked. Eventually he had to wear a wig to school so that way no one would be able to notice that his hair was gone. That is until they were playing soccer that day and then suddenly one of the kids actually pulled his wig out and they all laughed at him. But the only solution that they could find in order to cure this, this symptom was that he actually met two friendly ghosts and, and they decided that the only solution that can fix this, this problem was to use peanut butter to, as a magic potion to be able to find out if it will grow hair. And eventually it did the, the very next morning. Oh, it started growing as perfect as as he wanted it to be unfortunately it started to grow too long and it kept on growing throughout the entire time like it's somewhat a Rapunzel type of thing so but for that special ingredient he, he would have you will basically have trouble with it because by the time he's going to keep using it the more it's going to keep on growing but anyway, I remember watching this when I was a kid. I think I've seen this on cable, like when I was like three or four years old. I believe it aired on the Disney Channel. I wasn't so sure, but I remember watching this, and I had to say it has to be the most creepiest children's story that was ever done. And I, I don't blame everybody who actually had nightmares when they saw this movie because yes this was definitely a children's film that actually was a lot creepier than I thought it would be and looking at it today I mean, it still didn't look as creepy as, as it was when I saw it but I have to admit it was sort of messed up look just looking at it now um, and 
I did recognize uh, Michael Hogan from the TV show Battlestar Galactica, the 2003 edition, the one with Edward James Olmos, not the the original. So I probably knew who this actor was. So it's it's been so long since I've seen this. But um, yeah, this was a creepy film. I um, with all that hair starting to go all the way out. It's just one of those films that it really gets to you. It was based on one of the series called uh, Tales for All. They had a lot of movies that were done that they actually did this since 1984 all the way until 2004. So this was like a 20 year span of all these children's movies that's based on the story. But one of the other films that they've done that I actually seen before besides this film was called Tommy Trickster and the Stamp Traveler and that was yet another film that was based on the series which was actually a very fun film that I enjoy which was also from the same writer and director Michael Rupo who did this movie and it also features some songs by Celine Dion eventually there was only three songs a Michael song and and the Magic Man so yeah, she actually sang all the the songs. This was of course back when she was before she was popular in the 90s with all these hits that she's been doing. So she actually sang the soundtrack. But it was cool cuz I had to admit some of her songs were actually very good in this movie. Even though I'm not a big fan of her latest ones. That's okay. Anyway, I I really enjoy this. It's creepy, it's really strange, it gets to you, believe me, especially if you're like at that age, but you know, it's a fun film. I definitely recommend this. So I give the movie The Peanut Butter Solution three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.